This is the Innovate Arctic Claw 300 ice test. You just saw me run down about 50 meters of ice. It goes up about another 50 meters above that. And I am at the base of Pikes Peak, a 14,000 foot mountain in Colorado. And this trail right here, uh, we did get a couple inches of snow last night, so the ice is a little more covered than I would like, but it's still icy out here. So we're gonna dig in with the micro spikes. This is my first time in micro spikes in my entire life. I cannot wait. I'm just gonna, basically you're gonna see me. I'm gonna bomb up the ice and bomb back. <laughs> pardon me. I'm going to bomb up the ice and bomb down the ice as fast as I can, testing out the micro spikes to see how they do in the ice, okay? And let's go. And that concludes the Arctic Claw 300 ice test. I'm glad I came. I'm glad I came. I found the ice. And the key word for this video has to be Arctic. Has to be Arctic. And the, the big question becomes, did I fall and did I catch it on camera? I will tell you that back at the studio. The Arctic Claw 300. Welcome to the second video publishing today. This is not going to be my first impression of the shoe. Uh, this is not going to be definitely not my full review. I like to do that after 50 miles. Uh, I only want to talk about the micro spikes on the bottom of this shoe because guess what? This is my first time running ever. And I'm, I've been running for 20 years, first time ever using micro spikes. So it's an exciting day, right? You know what it's like when you get a new piece of gear that is just really, really brand new, like a totally new deal, whether it's a shoe, whether it's a watch, whether it's a headlamp, whatever, the, a sock, whatever the case may be. Well, micro spikes are new to me. And here in Colorado, what happens is that right now there's a snowstorm outside in Denver, Colorado. It's a blizzard, and, but, next week and so it's late february right now next week it's supposed to be in the 50s so all of this snow that is falling right now is going to melt and what happens is we get a lot of sunshine here in colorado a lot of sunshine it's amazing but it melts the snow pretty quickly and then at night it freezes it freezes real good well today i found some ice at the base of pikes peak and next week i anticipate using this shoe a ton because what's going to happen is the snow will melt and then it's going to freeze at night and then i'm going to go take the arctic claw 300s out and just eat up deer creek mount falcon green mountain wherever I, you know whatever mountain i can find and test out these micro spikes even further and in this video i'm not going to talk about the upper the midsole the outsole i might mention the lugs just briefly again it's just about the micro spikes so their tungsten carbide is the actual material used to, to create the spike and it, they are embedded into the base of the lugs. And I will just say the lugs are seven millimeters deep. So the actual rubber, uh, rubber, and I, I'm not going to get into the details of the type of material, but I'll just call it the rubber on the lugs. And so what I'm curious about is to see Will these, and this is a little bit of a concern, I don't know yet because these are my first micro spikes, but like today, I was running on probably 90% snow, no, 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 80% snow, 10% ice, and then 10% dirt. Uh, and again, like the snow melts and it turns to dirt. So I'm curious to see how these micro spikes will hold up when I'm transitioning between the ice, the snow, and then occasionally dirt and rock. Uh, you saw me jumping over the rocks there. So it'll be interesting. I don't know if you have experience with micro spikes and their durability, I'd be curious to hear your thoughts on them. And for the actual ice test today, you saw me running there. I was trying to run as basically as fast as possible, both up and down. And I slipped once 
on the way up. And I, pr I think I went up, I counted five times up that 100 meters of ice. Five times, and I slipped once on the way up where my foot basically slipped out, but it was I didn't fall. Like, it wasn't a major slip. Uh, and I am now realizing the brilliance, I think, and again, I need more time, but the brilliance of the size of the car, of the, 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 the micro spikes. I was a little concerned pulling these shoes out of the box that this, the micro spikes just didn't look, uh, basically big enough, tall enough, deep enough. And sure enough, they gripped so, so well. So let me just say, these are Solomon Speedcross 4s. It's night and day difference between putting screws in the bottom of your shoes and running in micro spikes. Like it's just, it's like night and day difference. I like the screws were fine, but I now, I now see the brilliance of the design of these micro spikes being frankly pretty small. And therefore I did not fall. I was trying to move as fast as possible up and down the ice. I wasn't sprinting down the ice, but I was moving pretty good. I didn't fall. I didn't fall, so this is good. This is a good test. Uh, if I would have, if I would have gone down, I obviously wouldn't be as excited right now. But uh, and yes, I did. I, I ran about 20 miles in these shoes, and then I had to switch over to some other, some ultra shoes because I was on pavement. And obviously, you cannot run on, in, on pavement in the micro spikes, or else you'll just completely destroy the micro spikes. All right, that is video number two for today. Question of the day for this video. Have you ever run in micro spikes? What did you think? And yeah, what did you think? Did they help? Did they not help as much as you thought they would? And it could be any brand, because Innovate is not the only shoe company putting micro spikes in the bottom of their shoes. I'm encouraged, very interesting, and I guess I'll also just add real quick, very runnable. Because you know how you can put crampons or yak tracks on the bottom of your shoes? I don't, I've done that before and I just don't feel like you can get your full uh, toe off and your full, your your really nice foot strike that you're used to, very runnable. It, I don't know, I didn't even, I wasn't even thinking about it. I was just running out there today. See, beauty, work hard and love each other. Oh man, see you tomorrow. Woo, all right, time to film.